Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 24th of April for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to share with you some standout features of this week, but please stay with me because I then will explore in much greater detail each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for joining me once more. If you're new here, it's great to have your company. I'd be honoured if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you would like to get your free daily horoscope fired to your device each morning, I think I'm pretty unique amongst the YouTube astrologers for offering this service and I've written them for 28 years. Please see the link below. So this week begins with the Sun aligning with the North Node. The North Node is going to make way on the 13th of July into the sign of Aries, very much to do with initiation. But Taurus, uh, for near to two years now, is very much about our values. And because the North Node is our collective understanding or appreciation of values, self-worth, but also money, it's no surprise that when the North Node aligned with Uranus last year, and of course we had that total lunar eclipse on the 8th of November, which was squared up, uh, or T-squared, uh, from Saturn to the position of the Sun and Mercury as it was, but also the Moon and Uranus, we really had a, fa a fantastical amount of adjustment to go through during that period. And that's not been easy. There's been a big uh, increase in costs uh, of everyday foodstuffs, which is very much to do with Taurus energy and also obviously to do with interest rates. So for a lot of people, the cost of renting, mortgages and food and other commodities such as fuel have skyrocketed and it's been really challenging. But I think that alliance between the Sun and the North Node is really asking us how we can gain from uh, really trying to understand this situation. And also because Mercury is retrograde, we can think of Mercury retrograde as purely something that's going to create snags and difficulties, or it's an opportunity to drill down into the detail, Mercury's rulership of Virgo, or to have a conversation or a rethink, Mercury's influence through Gemini, to try to find a way to squeeze a bit more out of our budget, particularly because uh, there is a great link between uh, Mercury and Mars in the first three days of this week. And Mars is in the part of our situations that's to do with our home, but also our family and domestic setup. So there could be an opportunity there. Also, Mars is in a fabulous alliance with Uranus all this week, also in Taurus. And of course, the Sun in uh, Taurus not only links with the North Node in Taurus on Monday, it comes into an exact sextile with Saturn on Tuesday. I feel what Saturn in Pisces is saying is, what is our uh, accumulative experience that we've gained in life so far? Maybe there are some emotional insights and strengths and uh, robust uh, ability to deal with pressures that maybe we need to reacquaint ourselves with. This is especially so if you haven't had to worry about money on an everyday basis until the last six months or so, because I think this has affected so many of us. But if uh, having little money has been something that you've experienced a lot in your life, I feel that what we can gain is certainly through our relationships, because the sign of Taurus is very much about our self-worth and our values. So even if the material world is limited, what we can gain is through conversation. So even though Mercury retrograde has got such a challenging reputation, I still feel that we can turn it to our advantage. However, on Thursday, there is a quarter moon in the glamorous sign of Leo. And Leo can be to do with uh, chance and uh, speculation. And because obviously Taurus can be about everyday money, 
if there is something that you're tempted towards, you know, if someone explains to you there's some kind of get rich quick scheme, I would be very skeptical. But also someone could look for our assistance and it may be someone we've helped in the past, but we may feel that this has become too much of a pattern and we want to push back so that they realize that and appreciate that help in the past and not just take it for granted. So that can very much be to do with loved ones who might need to be reminded that about the bank of mum and dad is not currently open. Or it could be that we need to deny ourselves something that we could have a frivolous desire to have, consume, but actually will it have any benefit to us? Because Taurus is very much about tangible benefits. So if there is something that you're thinking of buying, on a, on a whim from Thursday over the following week, probably best to try to avoid that purchase unless it has some kind of tangible benefit. So this is a week when we are all going to be thinking about our self-worth, our values, and our everyday money, but it's all leading up to the lunar eclipse, which is going to be occurring in Scorpio across the 5th and 6th of May, which is actually going to provide opportunities to turn things round. It's not going to be a panacea. I still think the big reset we're going through is one that's really pushing us to become much more conscious of the use of resources. That's a collective thing, but obviously that's no joke if you're really struggling to eat or heat on an everyday basis. Please stay with me whilst I explore each of those 12 signs. But if you would like to ascend above zodiac astrology and really uh, understand how uh, more serious astrology can work to your advantage in your everyday life, if you do give me three pieces of your personal birth data, of time, date and place of birth, I can provide for you your life roadmap report, but also in my special package of 30% off your 12 month forecast, which can give you Syrian insights. Don't know your time? I've developed a new package based on the sun, my solar package, same offer, 30% off, and you get your forecast too. And if you really enjoy uh, watching YouTube videos based on your sun, these will really relate to that very well. The more serious approach to astrology is more based on your ascendant. So if you're really into that, go for the first package with the three pieces of information. So Aries, your ruling planet Mars is highly influential this week. It's forging a really go-getting angle to Uranus. But of course, Mars in the fourth house of Cancer can be a little bit prickly, defensive, and Uranus can be a bit impulsive. But I feel that there could be a conversation around a family or a home matter, which actually just really gets to the point this week. And maybe it does need to be discussed. But Mars also forges a semi sextile to Venus. Venus, obviously, the planet of relating, is in the sign of Gemini, which is a lovely combination. This could see you wanting to spend time with people you're very close to, whether it's siblings, or people in your extended family, or perhaps community members or neighbours. But also, Mars is forging for the first three days of this week, as I mentioned before, a great link to Mercury. So you're thinking, despite Mercury's retrograde, could be very agile, but your passion to act out any ideas you have can be very strong, providing you really listen to your instincts, which Mars in Cancer is asking us all to do. But that conjunction between the Sun and the North Node on Monday is one to be really mindful of. You know, are you going about your life in a way that you feel at peace with in your heart? If the answer is yes, you're absolutely fine. If you're doing something you're not really enjoying through sheer necessity, you might want to rethink. But with Saturn forging a link to the Sun exactly on Tuesday, that a cumulative experience that is so important for all of us, experience of life. And maybe is, there is something that's dried up in your situation. Maybe it's someone's support. Maybe it's some kind of subtle change around your emotional world has felt a bit colder since the 7th of March when Saturn moved into Pisces. 
But I feel what the sun's saying is try to pick out the benefits that are going on from those past experiences and use them to guide you. For sure, micromanaging uh, your bank statements and any purchases digitally with Mercury Retrograde is very important. And I feel with that quarter moon, for you particularly, you know, the more flamboyant side of your nature, which can be a bit more impulsive, that could see you tempted to do something later in the week. But it does point back to, you know, maintaining your boundaries a little bit over expenditure, but particularly where someone might be in some ways laying on the charm in order to get you to support them. After all, their situation is ultimately their responsibility. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Please do comment, like or subscribe. Thank you.